Hello, my peeps. And welcome to Thursday's This and That. <laughs> um, the sleep deprivation continues. Things are extremely funny to me. Um, so it should be entertaining as the night wears on. You know, when you get that overtired giggles and everything is funny. Yep, that's where we're at. So I'm just waiting for my comments to come up so I can say hello to people. Hello, should I have sound? Oh, I hear you now, okay. Um, <laughs> hello, Tamara. Uh, congratulations on being here for the start of the video. Um, yeah, is this, uh... okay, so I'm putting my hands on the box, but nothing's showing up. That's not a good sign. Just a minute. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> go you. <laughs> So, uh, hi, it's Tracy. I don't know if I said that. Probably not. I tend to just start talking. Um, it is so beautiful and sunny and nice out today. Um, I'm having a blast working with this new product suite that I got, which I can't really show you too much of because until I send out the thing that's a surprise to the people to, you know, don't want to ruin it. So, um, oh, but I'm having so much fun. I don't even want to stop. I was like right up to the last minute working on, on things. Um, I can give you this much of a sneak preview. Look at how cute that little tag is. <laughs> okay, it's adorable, nonetheless. Plus I'm working with the in colors. Oh, hello, Nancy. A little blurry, but I see your hands. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying one less camera. Like I, ha I, I don't have the second one on because I don't know what happened to my, I'm trying a few different things to figure out what went wrong to why it was nice and clear and good before and now it's not. Thank you. Um, so like I said, a little overtired, so things are hilarious. So tonight was supposed to be the paper pumpkin reveal and I, I put the box down initially upside down and I thought, ta-da, paper pumpkin, thanks for coming. And that was gonna be like the whole reveal. <laughs> oh, you know, if nothing else, I amuse me, so. You know that saying, if, if I can make one person laugh today, then my, then it's been a good day. Does it count if that one person is you? I'm thinking it does. So um, my little rascal, he makes me laugh too. He's, he's absolutely adorable. Um, so yes, bright sunny day, lots of laughter, cute puppy, all good. Um, look at this, yeah, I, the, this is like legit box opening. <laughs> absolutely counts there you go um because i only got this late yesterday <laughs> and did not have time to do anything with it so i did not even open it now basically what i'm, what I'm hoping i'm gonna find in here is that i'll is that all crinkly on the tv um oh look my assistant's outside my door helping again um based on what i'm hoping is in here i can tell you about next month oh, yes i can good um, I want I want to remember though before before I get too far along because squirrel, it's free shipping still. You have till eleven fifty nine tonight to get in on the free shipping. Um, I did an order for a customer, and between the free shipping, which makes the tax less, and the fact that some stuff is going up in the new the price of some stuff is going up in the new catalog, uh, saved almost thirty five dollars on an order today for one person. Free shipping, gotta love it. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. So, ta-da! Um, I love that Paper Pumpkin has started putting, ooh, those are awesome. Um, I love that they've started putting this new kit, uh, or like what the next kit is, information on it, so that I can remember. Um, I was really hoping it would have a different picture on it, though. Oh, well, that's okay. So, yes, this is the April kit. The May kit is uh, featuring the new in colors. And you can tell by the pictures, they always give away little tidbits of stuff that there's ombre <clears throat> fun fact not really a fan of ombre but in the right element it looks great and i've seen bigger like chunks of these cards and they look really cool here they look a little bit like ombre worms just saying um there's golden vouchers you see that part there golden voucher so 200 kits and i guess i mean if you want to know your odds i think stamping out might shift like literally, you know, 40,000 paper pumpkin kits a month, but there's 200 golden vouchers in there. So there's a good chance 
somebody you know or you is getting a golden voucher, which is $34 in product because um, it starts with 25. So with the conversion, so 34 US, which is awesome. So there's 10 cards in this next kit because there's five in colors. There's two each of five cards and, and they're, they're cool. Uh, Sarah Douglas, who's this, the CEO, um, helped design this kit and her, if she's done one in the past, a few years ago, she did one. She likes black and white and she likes bold colors and she likes kind of like patterns. Like it, it's not going to be super full, floral or frilly or anything like that. Um, so I've seen, like I said, I've seen like the kind of the little bit more of a card and it does look pretty cool. Um, I think you could use it for young, old boy, girl, like whatever. I think they're pretty diverse. Um, um, I suppose to say diverse, but that's not the word I want. Versatile, very versatile cards, I think, in the next one. Plus, each one of the 10 cards comes with like a little piece of cardstock. Oops. Um, at least it looked like in the little clip I had seen that you can sort of attach on the inside. So if you want to turn your card into a gift card holder, there's like a little pocket you can attach on. And if not, think of the fun things you can come up with. Versatile, you see? <laughs> Tamara, you and I share a brain. The, ti the time uh, the time likes not helping me tonight, but thank you. We do share a brain. Um, so yeah, here's the thing. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of one of the cards that I'm making from a Friday challenge tomorrow because I made this this afternoon and uh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. But I think I love it because oops, that's a little too close. I love the new in colors. Bold, beautiful in colors. I also have a thing for these hexagon shapes. Usually I go for the triangle, but I don't know, loving the hexagons. Plus I put like five different colored <laughs> embellishments on it. So you could get like a good versa, you know, a good variety. I don't, now I want to use the word versatile instead of the word I want. A good variety of like what they look like. These are also the new patterns. So in the new catalog, when the DSP comes out, the in color one in each of the four families will have like a package of, of paper. I want to say there's eight sheets of each color. I know in the Actually, in the in color one, there's eight sheets of it, each color. I think in the family one, there's only four. So two of them have this pattern on one side. And I think it's the dots on the back. And then half of them would have the floral pattern with the stripes on the back. And they come in each of the colors. And these, these um, like solid, so, hi, Donna. These solid color, I guess, if you want to put it, um, DSPs, I love using. This one right here, well, partially in the red, but this little floral pattern makes me think of like really old fashioned shirts that they used to wear. And I, I just totally love this. Anybody needs the plaid, which I can't believe I'm going to say this and wants to trade plaid for flowers. I will because I love this one. But anyways, love, love, love the new in colors. So that will give you an idea for what colors would be in this card. Now, this is all about change this kit. So Melon Mambo, Mambo nice bright pink color. Ooh. These are good if you have, oops, sorry, I'm going to make people, I'm a little wee tonight. Uh, I'm going to make people motion sick if I'm not careful. Get the right angle going here. So we have little flurs, a caterpillar, um, flutter buys, as we call them. So full on, actually, I, don't know, I guess depending how you stamp this, so you could also make it look like a moth. Uh, every day is a new day. I'm so proud of who you've become. Um, I'm getting like this double reflection thing. It's making it fun to read. May this new season hold wonderful new experiences. I believe in you. Beautiful things take time. Oh, look at those are awesome. So those are good for like encouragement, grab, moving out. Um, just, oh, so many things. Okay, I'm liking it. Okay, so again with the, again with the tissue paper, actually the tissue paper and the box are both very carefully stored off to the side. Okay, here, we'll keep this set out and we'll keep that out. Let's see what else is in here. <laughs> having some motor skill issues tonight. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that is on camera. I'm just having a hard time with my, uh, my skizzers tonight. Color families, 40 sheets, two each. Yeah, it made sense to me that there'd be 40 in there. So because there's only five, that makes sense. Okay, thank you. So yeah, with the color families, you get four. Um, four sheets of each color. So two of each of the sets of patterns. Okay, look at these. I have no idea what these are meant to be, but they are the coolest looking things. <laughs> oh, I did get, oh, I can get it to focus, but I can't quite, you can't get the full beauty of it. Um, they're kind of just sort of squishy squares, but they're, um, they almost look like opals. Like, you know how opals have that, depending how you turn them, they change colors, but they're kind of white. And, oh, these are super cool. 
Uh, some dimensionals, we love dimensionals. Ooh, fun and envelopes. Oh, see, I'm liking these colors. I'm all about the bold lately. I'm liking white bases and bold. Wait till you see my cards tomorrow. They're all white with bright colors on them. Um, I go through phases of every color bases or card base is colored, and then it's um, yeah, they're they're different than iridescent though. They're they're even better than iridescent. Oh, they're just I don't know. They're just cool. Okay, so there's the pretty envelopes with the nice colors in them. All right, <laughs> what the heck? How about we look at the instructions and see what the cards are supposed to look like? Oh, these are all fun fold cards too. Um, you know what? Is this like an extra? Oh, for some reason, the instructions felt pearlized. Ooh, they're almost like that. That's a, that might be a better one. Okay, you, you two, you need to you need to check your check your paper pumpkin kits and see how cool they are. Um, yeah, this is cool. See, and, and um, you'd almost think Sarah helped with this one too, with, with the bold colors and the black and white. But I am looking forward to seeing what these cards look like. So I do remember reading, seeing. The beautiful thing is with Stampin' Up! demos, um, they like to share. We, we know how we all like to know what's going on with other stuff. So usually you get like little sneak peeks and little shares. Um, I don't think I can do justice to these cards without putting a couple of them together. So we might just do that. All right, a little piece of cardboard. I save all these pieces of cardboard that come out of here. Um, and then every now and again, I purge all these pieces of cardboard. Um, so if anybody ever wanted them, let me know. Okay, so we have three of each of the cards. So on the inside, you can see that it is sunny skies. We'll do this one first, I guess. And, uh, and here, again, bone folder, best thing ever. Um, on the outside, it's nighttime. And we have all these nice little pop-outs, which I'll just slow down and be careful so I don't rip. It is, oh, I can't see what I'm doing now on the black side, but if I go on the white side, I can see where the cuts are. So this is, this is the theme of the kit, right? Things change. So some things, I guess, can change quicker, like night today. Other things take a bit more time. Okay, here's, here's because there's a bit of a, I know, Nancy, aren't they nice embellishments? They're cool. Um, here's a bit of a skill testing question for you. Who knows? <laughs> and I'll wait for the answer because I know that there's a time delay, but who knows how long it takes a caterpillar to become a butterfly? And while you're all like Googling or trying to remember your high school science class or wherever it was, um, I don't know the answer. So I'm not going to enlighten you with it. I was just curious if somebody actually knew because off the top of my head, I have no idea. All right, so here's one of the cards. And then I'm actually looking at the instructions. <laughs> I Just a picture, again, I rarely open them up and actually read what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so these ones come with, oh, this is cool. Okay, so you notice when I poked it out, so I've got the moon, it, it, it's shining through as yellow. The other stars that I poked out, some of them are white, some of them are blue. And then I've got some clouds. And there appears to be three of each of these sheets. So each thing I'm going to do is going to be, I think, on one of these cards. Um, <laughs> I buried my brand new thing of, of, of um, dimensionals on my desk but underneath all that stuff. So here, I'm just going to do this. You know what I noticed? Just noticed. This is one of the few times that this kit did not come with glue dots. Unless they were stuck between layers of something, it didn't come with blue dots, which is fine. But they almost always do. Just one of those things I'm noticing. Are they stuck between anything? Nope. No, 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 no. That's okay. We're all good. Okay, so what did I get my other cloud? There it is. Uh, <laughs> I told you I'm in a I'm in a woohoo mood today. And uh, <laughs> I have to be careful because as soon as I said cloud instantly into my head popped the subtle come up tomorrow and I like just about started singing and quite honestly I want people to keep coming back and so if I start singing that's not going to happen so I can't do that okay so this is cool nice little um starry night with a couple of clouds I don't know if I was supposed to put dimensionals behind everything but I did because I like to um, what we teach that caterpillar stuff each year. I get grossed out, so I don't pay attention. It's not too long, though. 
do you remember i don't know i haven't i haven't seen this i can't i can't think of a time i've seen more recently but i remember when we were kids and it was tent caterpillars and every time it wasn't an every year thing but it seemed to happen a lot more i remember as kids and every spring it'd be like okay the tent caterpillars are out and there were so many of them they just they coated everything they were on the trees they were on everything they would fall on the sidewalk and you and you would try to get like we walked to school and i mean we walked 20 blocks i don't know we walked a long way to school um and and the whole challenge was just to try to walk to school without stepping on one because it was so gross to step on them but they were everywhere and it was almost impossible to not step on them um okay i'm not going to do the stamping right now because i'm going to speed this along but um in the sample it looks like they just stamped in here so there we go and then look at the card oh and you know what they did they put some of these cool little embellishments Anybody else remember the whole caterpillar or the tent caterpillar thing? I grew up in Edmonton, so I'm going to guess one of the rest of you guys knew about it. I don't know if it's an everywhere thing, but I, I remember that. So I'm going to call these little embellishments stardust. And I don't think this tail is super long, and I was only going to put two, but Donna's watching, so I'm putting three. Um, Ta da! I like this card. Opens up, and I haven't decided what it's going to say on the inside. Um, and according to this picture, although do what you want because it's your it's your cards and you can do whatever you want but according to this it looks like the one with the watercolor green is what goes with the that dude okay let's see what the next fun fold is these are fun folds let's see what tamara is telling me uh yes if you stepped on them just so they oh the pop it's just grossing me out um very gratifying although now i have animal cruelty guilt uh thank you you're proud of me donna thank you um it, it it's so it's weird because um you you can't you can't help yourself i have no idea how this card folds i'm, I'm actually gonna have to read the instructions um you can't help yourself girl oh i know it's gross it's gross the whole thing is gross um but at, at the time I mean, you tried as much as you could, and then sometimes you'd be just like, oh, I don't care. You just put on your rubber boots and you would just run across the lawn with them because, I mean, you got to get from point A to point B. But yeah. And I mean, they are, you know, all God's creatures is what they say. So, okay, so it looks like I'm supposed to fold. Oh, okay, there we go. See, this is what threw me off. <laughs> I'll admit it. I was all of a sudden like, what? Okay, so this is the back of the card. Right. And it looks like she should write on it and stamp on it. And I was somehow trying to figure out where this with the way the scoring was, um, how to get that <laughs> onto the other side. Oh, see, Donna, we're going to have to we're going to have to watch you. I guess you could make I, I, it's funny, though, you know, the different things that, that we did as kids. I heard um, we lived in the city. We were city kids and we were you know, so jealous of the country kids. But I heard of them of, of like all the different things they would do for gophers, right? Because gophers were bad. They would like cause lots of injury and lots of damage on the farm. And, you know, it was, the gophers were not welcome. Um, and some of the things you do and you just think, oh, that was not nice. But I don't know, somehow it was a different time, I guess. Okay, so this is, see, this is cool. Okay, so this one also gets stamped and goes up here in the corner. And then it goes like this. So we start with our little seedling. And then, ta da, beautiful flowers. So, this change, I guess it depends on the flower, how long it takes to go from beautiful seedling to beautiful flowers. And then you write on the back. So, that's cool. Does this have, uh, this must have these yellow flowers on it. Oh, what I just noticed, there's like this huge flower on this die cut thing, which uh, apparently goes in here. Why can't I figure out where? Does it go over here? It looks like it does. But see, if you put it over here, I don't know. I, I kind of like, I'm, I'm not sure now. This is where this big flower is supposed to go. And then there's also some little ones. But I kind of like the seedling to the big reveal. And if you put the big flowers out here, then you don't get the same big reveal. I have to ponder that one. You know what I'm saying? So if I do it like this, like the instructions show, then 
Yeah, the reveal's not as dramatic. Oh, you know what it is? Never mind, I got it. The flower gets bigger. There we go. So maybe I will do that then. And then we just put a little, but of course, again, I have lost my dimensionals again. There we go. Um, we got to pop this, this bad boy up on some dimensionals because then it will stand out more. And I think the key here when assembling this particular card is make sure you get all your leaves inside the card. I'm gonna put it up a little higher too because then it makes more sense to me that it's growing um, so that you can still fit it in the envelope and you don't hang it over the edge of the card. And then, yep, I am a, hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a dimensional-aholic. That's such a thing, a dimensional-aholic. Dimensionals on these guys too. I'm trying to look at the picture without holding it like super close to my face, which is what I need to do right now, um, to try to see where the gems go on here. Like where did, they, it seems like they put gems on it. No idea. Okay, so there we go. We put our little sentiment on the front once I decide what I want to what I want it to say. We go seedling, do do do, growing flower. And then if you want to get verbose or add extra stamps, you can on the back. And actually, because I I think there's a significant number of flowers on the front. I do need to put a third one though, because I started with three. So unless we we don't want to have mortality rates on our cards. On the seeding hill, seedling hill. Well, I was, I can't put a dimensional on it, but I'm thinking of putting one. Oops. I'm going to make this be the three because I started with three. So I'll put three there now. But I think I might just put one of these little flowers. And lucky for me, I have glue dots. Again, I am so glad that this is the only roll of these glue dots that I have where the glue dots are on the paper thing because I am not enjoying it. I'm going to put a little one in the corner there. Well, uh, I probably could stamp on the back too. So there's another one. Ta -da. Look at that. That was fun. Ooh, what color envelope are they? What color envelope are they recommending for this? That would be the yellow one. You know, it's funny. This one has stars on it. In my mind, the stars would go better with this one. This is green. It goes with this one. See? I'm a, I'm a rebel. I'm going to do what I want. Push those out of the way. And let's see what our last one fold is. Uh, this might be a fun one, though. So yeah, if you, um, if you didn't subscribe, shame on you. If, you. if you didn't subscribe, but now you're looking at how much fun I'm having with these cards and thinking I should have done that too, uh, let me know. And I will watch to see if there are refills or, oh, this isn't a CI. This one came very much faster. Uh, I'll see if there's refills or if there's the full kits. Um, so that would be on the first Monday after the 20th. So that would be on Monday. So a couple days from now. So I had to I had to think that out loud in my head because I don't always know what date it is. It's the 21st free shipping day. Okay, so this one. Um, this, this looks very tropical to me. And at first I looked at this and saw a surfboard. There you go. It is not a surfboard. So we have caterpillar, pupae, I think is what that one's called. And then we're going to have a lovely butterfly. We'll flutter by. Oh yes, we do have a big one. So I'm guessing, let me just see what they're recommending. <laughs> see if I decide I'm going to listen to it or not. Yep. So they are recommending. It does make sense to fill the card if you if you hit everything. I guess it wouldn't really work at all. So again, this is the stages. So they're recommending the butterfly go up there, and I'm pulling all of these. So off one sheet, I've made one of each card. So I love this. All the work is done for you. They're nicely watercolored. I got all sorts of fun things happening. I did not notice where the sentiment goes on here. I like the idea that yawn. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, that's another thing too. There's only one label. Oh, I'm liking this kit. It's it's original. Um, I had seen somebody else who said this kit's not like any of the other ones. And I thought, okay. But I'm seeing, like we've had 
fun folds before this not very often but um but i'm seeing yeah there's just cool things on this one that are not not on the other ones so we're going to put our big butterfly here um you could easily stamp a sentiment there or there's some of these are two part ones maybe where's the one that says things beautiful things take time so you could write beautiful things take time and then there's another spot on here i believe in you sort of a hang in there but with butterflies and caterpillars let's see so um <laughs> as i just as i just all of a sudden stopped talking for no reason i was concentrating very hard on my on my dimensionals um so did anybody actually have I'm, I'm like obsessed with making all these little cards and i'm thinking of grads and stuff like that and uh, i don't actually know anybody graduating this year <laughs> not even from grade nine my son will have grade nine grad next year but i don't actually know anybody graduating this year but i'm having all these ideas for grad cards Okay, that silence was a tea break. Um, my son told me <laughs> that I need to I need to do start doing a a weekly just chat with people and call it tea time with Tracy because I drink so much tea and he thought that's what I should do. And I said, well, I used to do What's Up Wednesday, which is basically the same thing. I would just chat about what was going on and and stuff like that. Um, but he's and and I said, but it wasn't like I said. I don't know if that was you know. I didn't get a lot of good feedback on it that hey keep doing this and he said well that's because he didn't have a good name you need to call it tea time with tracy <laughs> and then I, so apparently if i gave it a cute name i would have more people that would watch tea time with tracy uh, you could watch me drink tea okay so there we go <clears throat> i feel like i should put something here i can't just leave that like that what is this every day is a new day may this new season hold wonderful experiences i actually like that one so just because I don't want to leave this one with this much space. And I'm going to quickly roll over to my big stamp pad because as much as I like to keep it real, <laughs> as you will notice, I have zero filter. Um, I don't see any reason why you should watch me fight with that ink spot to get it open. And I do I do tend to fight with the ink spots to get them open. Uh, even just the end of school year, they would look for that too. Oh yeah, that would too. RuPaul, spill the tea. Oh, and I even I can even go with the tea. And quite honestly, I would have no problem spilling things. <laughs> do that frequently. Uh, I love a good pun. Okay, I totally put this crooked on the block. So let's see what I can. Now I'm trying to figure out. There we go. I like this. Uh, <clears throat> so this card you could use just to send to somebody because it's springtime. Because it just says made this new season hold wonderful new experiences. So it could be retirement. It could be literally the spring season. It could be graduation, new job. What's the tea? Oh, what's the tea? I thought you were asking me the question. I'm like, you're the one who uses the expression all the time. Don't you know what the tea is? <laughs> oh, losing it. Look at this. Look at how much of a difference it makes in that card. To just pop on those little that one little sentiment okay so because it was so effective i'm actually going to do i want to put them down there or down there hmm. well now i can't decide i think i'm just going to pop them in the they're going to be little glittery things in the sky because i want little glittery things on here too um, i was going to put them on his, like down the middle but he's much bigger than the. Oops, I should have paid attention to what I was doing. Um, that's his flight path. <laughs> um, he's a little too wide for these dimensionals, I think. Oh my goodness, I do do like that card. Uh, quite honestly, I like the caterpillar better than the butterfly. Um, get some sleep. No kidding, right? <laughs> Uh, Rascal is Rascal is uh, is improving daily. Last night we got oh, five and a half hours of sleep, so we, we went from five to five and a half. Um, there there I have faith that you know a good eight hour sleep is just around the corner. Uh, I know delusional. 
believe in you. Beautiful things take time. But now that I've stamped one, I'm going to stamp them all. So you're just going to have to let me stamp a couple things and then I'll be done. Um, there we go. Uh, it's, it's too funny. Uh, sometimes the places my mind goes, oh, who wants, so let me see who all is on tonight. <laughs> let me review who's watching. I'm guessing we probably can all relate. Um, so as soon as I saw this thing and it, and it was, it was all about changes and I, but I read the change and I just thought, so should we make a whole like series of cards for the change? <laughs> Do you think there's a market for that? Happy menopause. <laughs> uh, yep. Definitely time for some sleep. Um, I don't think I can actually put as much as I was going to put dimensionals on that. I, I don't actually think it'll it'll help my case on that card very much. Uh, very excited as you see that I'm just about to run out of seal in that particular one. Um, I ordered ten more of them today because they're finally back in stock. Because I put my flower a little higher, I'm going to put my sentiment a little lower. Oh, look at this! I should I should completely do the cards each time. They look so much better done. And then, hmm, see, I like to ponder sometimes on, on who's going to get it before I decide what I'm putting on. Oh, see, this one's easy. Every day is a new day. And because, because I still have all of this stuff all over my desk, from my other stuff I was working on, I'm rapidly running out of blocks. Here we go. Uh, every day is a new day. Um, where did I just read that? That was the motivational thing I just read. Instead of saying, oh, it's just another day, you're supposed to say, yay, it's a new day. So whatever happened yesterday does not matter. Every day is a new day. Look at that. Ta-da! Every day is a new day. All right, that was fun. <laughs> It was fun for me. I don't know if it was fun for anybody else. I enjoyed myself. Look at that. Love these cards. Uh, bear the envelopes. Yeah. Somewhere there's a, somewhere there's an envelope with pink on it underneath all of my stuff. There we go. I would think the pink one goes with the butterfly. Like I said, we'll put the green one over here and we'll put the little we'll put the stars over here. And there you have it. You get three of each. Well, let me know if you are interested in refills or full kits so I can keep an eye out to see if they offer any. And if you are interested in the in color kit for April, let me know that too. Um, this was fun. <laughs> I was trying to go for half an hour. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get my time down. Um, I went over by five minutes, but that's not too bad for me. So thank you ladies for joining me. Um, like I said, I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, yeah, put your cards together there. They're awesome once they're finished. Thanks everybody. We will. Uh, I will post my cards, including my sneak peek of my um, my my challenge. One was a sketch, and you'll see all my bright and bold cards that I made for tomorrow. And then I will have dimensions and all the instructions and such for my slimline cards on my blog on Saturday. And if I don't, uh, but I, don't, I guess I won't see you on those two things because neither one of them is alive. But if not, I will see you next Tuesday. Have a great weekend and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.